no one would guess at first glance, but past this door threshold in the Soweto township lies in Aladdin's cave. South African Tammy Mezibuko is the owner of a home library. He founded the Soweto Book Cafe back in 2018. Readers aged four and beyond have made it a habit to come and discover African literature works. When the 36-year-old rummages through the stacks, his face always lights up. I'm a reader myself. When I came back here around 2016, 15, there were no bookstores at all. I, I didn't have books. So I started collecting books. I had some of the books that I, I, I traveled around with. So when I used to live in the city, I had my books with about 30 books. So I had an idea to start a business and also for a bookshop and a slash library for the community. His mission is crucial in a country where primary school level reading literacy was deemed insufficient. In 2016, South Africa was ranked last out of 50 nations participating in a reading literacy study. That's one of the reasons I started this place to advance literature, literacy, and to provide the community with access to books and, and information, which is their basic human rights. So. The Book Cafe also provides a quiet space for the youth living in the neighborhood. They come to do their assignments, relax and read. Fifty regular members of a book club even gather here. I started the book club in 2018, May, June. And I started at home, so my, 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 niece, my niece had a problem at school. Um, she was failing dismally and I asked and I'm like, no, I... I actually don't know how to read and I don't understand a thing, so that is why I'm failing. So I have a lot of books at home and I just initially started with her and a few friends. Tami Mazibuk, who sometimes hosts book launches in his home, the book cafe has taken on an even greater importance after public libraries were closed during the lockdown. Township residents can now quench their thirst for reading thanks to the hundreds of donated books.